All right then, ladies and gentlemen, very welcome on this lovely Sunday evening, as we have today a clan war between the Pro Clan and the, if I'm not mistaken, Bad Clowns Academy. I hope you can all hear me. If you have anything to say to me, like feedback or the microphone is too quiet or too low, please let me know in the comments below. All right, and we kick this off with a CVC, as we have spawning in the top left position of Brian Terraces playing for the team Pro it is the Yellow Zerg battle and he's fighting against the proper Zerg spawn the right bottom position of Brian Terraces playing for the Bad Clown Academy it is Ace okay and this is indeed a best of seven there we go currently 0-0 zero, zero. and what do those guys play? Let me see. Okay, so far it looks like gas into pool, pool into gas, something like that. I have to admit I don't have too much experience casting a CVC, especially in Legacy of the Void as I am playing as Terran. Uh, but it looks like for both player quite a similar opening so far. So this should be nice. Okay, I do think we could see some aggression soon, especially in CVC. So yeah, let's let's have a look. There, are queens are on the way for both players here, and I do wonder why no one went for the gold base here. Uh, I could imagine that that is quite common, even in CVC on that map, because it provides such a nice boost to your economy if you can secure the base, of course. And there we see some small details. We have four circlings for Ace and just two circlings for Battle. So he might have... Oh, he's behind in drones. I wonder how that works out. Speed is roughly at the same time. Okay, so... I think there was some production missing for Battle already. Putting him slightly behind, but it should be nice. And yeah, those are scouting circlings. And Ace got just a bit more circlings here. Oh, but we see a bailing mess going up for a battle here. That's not too bad. Oh, and they meet each other and turning back. So four, four circlings. Uh, there's no queen at the natural. This drone could actually get picked off if he's not careful. Uh, four more circlings on the way as well as the bailing mess. Oh, missing uh, an inject already. Here are the circlings from Ace entering the natural and they could find one or two drone kills which can be massive in TVC losing one circling already there the second one goes down a drone as well and that's a very good start so far for uh, the Bad Clown Academy player Ace there are the additional circlings coming down for battle shooing away those circlings speed finish up oh he could get this overlord that's indeed very good uh, could even out some things here and as you can see the production is uh, quite low here. We have a Roach Warren on the way and one Scouting Circling, which is fine. Ah, uh, will the Queen get an Overlord? Ah, oh, there we go! Okay, that's 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 nice. Supply blocking Ace quite a bit and he's just now starting the Overlord. So, oh, the Circling makes it into the main base. Sees everything. Um, didn't scout for the second gas, but did see... Oh, he didn't see the Roach Warren. That's huge. Okay. So, some injects still missing. Uh, for battle, actually, they are quite good. But let me tell you that banelings and surfings aren't that good against roaches. Um, neither are them good against. Uh, maybe I could imagine surfings being good against Ravager. But we will see. For now, both players just playing a bit defensively. And I think battle with going for three gases. Hmm. If you would have picked four, I would have uh, said it could be mutalists, but for now it doesn't seem like so. So both players just droning up. We do see the Leia coming up for Ace here, which can definitely be helpful, and a late Roach one for battle here compared to Ace ones and plus one attack for the Roaches, which is very very good. All right. So the lair is done right now for Ace, and 
You will see what he's choosing to go to after that finishes. Uh, could be Mutalisk, could be straight into Infestor and Ultralisk, maybe, or Brute Lords, but I doubt it. I, I think uh, the Roaches, maybe Hydralisk and Lurker, which could be very powerful, and with the upgrade lead he might have, this could be very massive. So the Lair for Battle is a bit late, but he's getting double evolution chamber behind that. So he can maybe out outpace the upgrade advantage Ace is getting currently, uh, but still no third base for neither player. What is the drone count? Uh, oh, Battle has a very high advantage in the drone count as well as in the income, of course. So the longer the game goes, the better it should be for Battle. But Ace is moving out and might be able to hit a very specific timing with a lot of roaches and some circlings. But he needs to be careful because there are indeed banings with this army, and banings are very strong. And of course, of the overlords, spread Battle saw it. So. Hmm. Roach speed is on the way as well, which is very good. But uh, what is the army supply? Ooh, heavily in favor of Ace here. And he hits with the upgrade advantages as well. If he morphs some Ravager as well. No, he just goes straight into the natural. And now we see, will he? Oh, he's a bit scared. He could pick off that spine crawler. Oh, the positioning is actually. Not that good for battle, he's fighting away from the spore crawler. The queens are helping out quite a bit here, but is it enough? Oh, Ace is going straight for the drone line. Not putting himself into a good position, but he outnumbers battle quite a bit so far. Ah, uh, but he's taking massive damage from the spine crawler. The repositioning this spine crawler is also very helpful. It takes some seconds, 9 seconds in total, and he's denying a lot of mining time. But in the end, as you can see, the unit lost tip shows that. Mm, yeah, quite some drones were killed, but still, is it enough? A so far is still behind in the worker count, and the army count is quite even now. So, behind that no third base was taken, just more and more roaches, and he's still sitting only on 29 drones against 37, which is quite a lot. And there we have the Ravagers. Speed plus one plus one. This counter attack could deal massive damage. First of all, he could pick off some overlords. Uh, where Ace has more than enough for the current supply, but maybe. And ooh, what is there? Ah, uh, he's spreading himself a bit thin here, mm, but getting into position to protect the third base, which is going up. The queens are very helpful here. Uh, actually, it's just one with the transfuse, but two transfusions available. One at that queen and one at that queen. Oh, there's the big attack coming. Where are the biles? Oops. Ah, there they are, hitting all those roaches. And with the 1-1 one, one timing, it looks like oh, so many roaches for Ace. Maybe he can win this. He got... Yeah, he, he hold. Very nicely done. So the roaches were enough. Roaches are good against Ravagers in a straight battle. I feel like. They, had, they are a bit more tanky. Attack almost at the same speed. Yeah, it's... You need the roaches to, to buffer. So... The upgrades are really good for battle currently, as well as the income, but he lacks army. I think his injects aren't the best, but maybe he needs a macro hatch, but he's still fine. I guess he's just gathering for the... Oh, I love it. Turning the roach into a ravager which was on low health. That is a nice trick. And he's getting a gold base, which is not spotted by an overlord here from Ace, so... If he transfers some drones, and as you can see, 47, 48 drones against 35. So if he just can be able to capitalize on this advantage, that would be so good. Ah, look at that. I totally missed the Hydralisk then for battle here. And Ace has no Hydralisk. And let me tell you what, Hydralisks are awesome. They are a super high DPS glass cannon unit, but it deals so much damage. And of course, later on, if you get the... Um, the Lurker, then you can morph them into Lurkers, and then they deal splash damage and can siege spaces. That's very strong. But of course, Ravager somehow counter them, but it takes like 4, Rav four Ravager Biles, Corrosive Biles, to kill a Lurker. If I'm not mistaken, a 4th base going up for battle. Maybe battle is opting for a max out first. Uh, which could work, actually, but Ace very nicely was able to catch up in the drone count. Uh, we do see the infestation pet going down. 
and plus two as well as the muscular augments for the hydralis. So will he attack soon or will he max out? The longer he doesn't attack or deal any damage or harass, the better it could be for Ace later on if he is able to catch up. But with the fourth base on the way, uh, difficult. Very difficult. Some scouting circlings, maybe some Harris circlings as well, making their way towards the third base, but there indeed is Ace's army. And all those surfings get shredded. No one makes it into the natural, so mm, it was a nice try. Ooh, he saw the army. Mm, there we go. Hydralis killing the overlords. Not really supply capping Ace, and Ace definitely could need um, one macro hatch here. He's not that good in injecting. Ooh, that overlord gonna get killed eventually, maybe. But here's the big attack. How good will the Corrosive Files land? We got plus 2 against 1-1, one, one, so... Mm, who gets it by the Concave? So far it's looking very good for Ace, I would say. The Corrosive Files are hitting, not that much micro. Very nice avoid, nicely avoided here. The Hydrolysis are coming down for Ace. The income still ends the upgrades. Ooh, it's, it's so close. The reinforcements arrive here. But it looks like it's not enough, it's hardly enough, but it is enough, and Ace holds. Wow, very good, very nicely done. Battle can't just break Ace here. Very nicely. So, he has the better upgrades, he has the better economy, and basically more units. But still, he takes bad fights over and over again. Which is a bit surprising. But, as we know, the infestation pit is done, so we could see Hive Tag. And Hive Tag is damn good in Legacy of the Void, let me tell you that. Mm, might we, see, we might see a counter attack from Ace here into battle, and the creep spread for battle isn't the best, so he won't be able to reposition his units in a, into a concave as easily as Ace was in his defense. So, ah, uh, that overlord. Oh, it survives! Wow! Lucky one. Okay, we do see 20 more circlings, more thing for Ace here. And it looks like he's going for the attack now. 2-1 against 2-2. Two, two. So basically, Battle is in a better position. But as you saw, he was never taking good fights here against Ace. Ah, but Ace is returning back and looting one Hydralis here, maybe a second one as well. And that can be so massive. But those circlings are high damage dealers as well. So, what do we see here? A very good Conquer for Ace. Not the best one for battle, and mm, he's running back to his reinforcements. Who will win this fight? I don't know, I have no freaking idea. 2-2 two, two against 2-1 two, still. Oh, that's a very good position for battle here. Why is he giving up this position? I have no clue. But he's in between the spaces, uh, the base and the troops, and he's losing a lot there. The troops indecisive. Corrosive by lands. Ooh, and he turn. Oh, he retreats back. He didn't kill the base, neither the army, and... If you look at the unit lost tab, he's taking okay trades, interestingly. But if 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 Ace would be even with battle in in the army count, in the upgrades, and in the income, then he most likely would crush battle here. Oh, those overlords are all so dead, or are they? Ah, some roaches coming. Eee, they could have sniped those uh, hydralisk here. But they didn't do it. Oh, Infestor! Okay, with the Fungal Growth or the Infested Turns, they could even up the tides here for battle, finally. Oh, so many Ravagers, but they are at the front, getting taken out heavily here. Corrosive Files are landing on top of the army, dealing massive damage. But that's a beautiful Fungal Growth here. And it looks like Ace has to return back. His army, smaller. The upgrades, not the best ones. And battle is finally Max and is pushing the issue here. Will he be able to Supreme? Win Supreme, we will see. Fifth base taken as well, there's the fight. No good concave here for Ace, but as you can see, ah, it's so close! A very good concave for Ace, I have to say. Oh, this is indeed very close, but with the upgrades and finally the outnumbering of battle, it looks like he will be able to win against Ace in this best of seven clan war. He crushes the army, kills the third base, and now all he needs to do is finally kill Ace. Ah, oh, that's looking very good for Pro Clan currently. 
Ah, uh, the queen gets taken out, the hatchery will fall for sure, all those drones are dead. And I think we soon will see the GG from Ace here. There we go. No! Oh, BMGG! No, don't do that! And battle wins the first game. Okay, so which player will be sent out from the Bad Clown Academy? I have no idea, but we will sure see see soon. So, yeah, let's let's look and wait for that. Okay. So all I can do now is wait. Wait for the next player to be chosen. And then we will see what will be the next epic battle between Pro Clan and Bad Clones Academy. Is it indeed Bad Clones Academy? I'm, to I'm saying it the whole time, but I am not sure. And I don't want to say things that aren't true here. So let me check that. Bad Clown Academy. Okay. Whew! I'm safe. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Loader should play, but he's AFK. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Still no player selected. It looks like Bad Clowns Academy have some problems. To choose a player? Okay. Epsilon WT did RZZT will play. I have no clue how to pronounce that name. But whatever. I mean, whatever. I will ask in the chat and maybe you can enlighten me because I have no idea <laughs> what that should stand for. I have really no idea. I simply don't know. So battle stays, so it will be battle against Epsilon WT Ditrzt. You did Ritzt? I have no idea. I simply don't know. I wonder how do you get to such a name? I mean you you, you have you sit there in front of your computer, Battle.net asks you to choose a nickname to be able to play, to, to know all guys, okay, that is you, and you go for you How? Why? I mean, it's nothing bad or wrong with that, but I simply don't know. I mean, instead of that, you could go for, what do I know, Demon Crusher or. I have no idea. Just, ti just, just trying to get the time done between now and the next game. Um, uh, which map I have to create? 
Oh yeah, thank you. Normally, normally the admin does this, but no. This time the caster has to do it. Okay. So which map? And which players? What? I have no idea. Which is the map? Okay. Larry like quest create game. I can do that. Invite to game. Invite to game. Invite to game. 1v1. No build order. I'm spectator. Okay. Um, battle, you need to accept the invitation. Invite to game. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Looking good so far. Okay, so Vujitrzt is Protoss. That is good. So let's see, where is the lobby? Lobby, lobby, lobby. Yeah, I'm waiting. What's what's the issue here? Come on. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, battle is ready. Trzt, okay, I say just trzt, that's okay. Both are ready, so we start the game. No build order. Referee to all guys whatsoever, and we are ready to go. I have no clue why you would choose Larry Lacrest as a Protoss against a Zerg. I have no clue. But maybe we see some hidden strats. We will see. We sure will see. Okay. Welcome everybody to this clan war currently versus pro uh, between pro and bad clown academy as we are spawning in the right bottom position of Larry Lacrest playing for team pro it is the yellow zerg battle and this guy is fighting against the green proto spawning in the left bottom position of Larry Lacrest playing for the bad clowns academy it is Drzt. Going for a pilot and the gateway is first. You do see a drone scout from battle, which is nice. And the first overlord on the way will indeed should indeed see the base, the spawning location of Trz. So oh, we do see gas pool again. Okay, crossbone. Scout didn't see anything. The Overlord should confirm that there is indeed that base. Okay, there we go to go with the Nexus. Uh, 
Okay. And then we have the cybernetic score as well as the hatchery. And I do like this overlord. This is uh, from the heart of the swarm, I would say, where Protoss players tend to photon cannon rush here. And with the overlord, you see it because uh, the hatchery has just two tiles uh, sight, so vision. And you wouldn't see cannons or anything built up here. So the overlord provides some vision here, which is very nice. I don't see any photon cannon rushes so far. Um, Game paused. In Legacy of the Void. But maybe they are a thing again. I don't know. Could be. So Dritz needs a pause, which is also completely fine, I think. And we just wait for him to sort out anything, whatever it might be, that's totally fine. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one, go. Uh, I had some lags there, it's interesting, but whatever. But it's completely fine. Okay. So I have to admit, as I'm playing Terran, I have no idea how PVC looks either. But I would say this target opening could be for an Oracle. Or maybe early Phoenix. Unlikely to be Void Ray, but who knows. Ooh, so greedy! Third base. Okay. And please use the yeah, please use the observer chat. Let the players play their game. Don't distract them. We do see a forge here for Dritz, uh, which is good. And Stargate finishes off. What will he produce? Nothing. There we go. Well, and as you can see, you do see the shape of the oracle. If you look closely, you can see it. Do you see it? Can you see it? It's a bit hard, but it's possible. So if you have a sharp eye, you can see what Protoss is going to produce. You can either see the uh, the Oracle or the Phoenix, Void Ray, Tempest Carrier, all possible. But just a sharp look. A second gateway as well. Uh, I would say that's a very well-rounded build. Dritz has gotten there. Oh, a speedling! Scouts around, oh, and gets into the main base, which is huge, so he sees the Stargate, he knows Oracle is a thing, or Phoenix, and he goes immediately for the for the Spore Crawlers. Uh, the Circling dies before it can kill any probe, but still, a good scout, and there's the Oracle. Uh, very close. Oh no. Oh no, there we go. Oh no, you won't win that fight. So the Oracle taking a lot of damage, killing just one drone. I think so. Oh no, don't fly back! So, Oracle versus Queen. Guess what? Queen wins because Oracle was heavily damaged. That's huge. And a huge circling flood into the main base. If he gets the Nexus, that would be so massive. There are no pylons at this Nexus whatsoever. Uh, he should maybe not waste all those circlings to try to get the Nexus. Yeah, he should have fought all those probes instead. So, he's going for a pylon now. He wasted a lot of circlings for almost nothing. But what he is doing is. Uh, taking away a lot of mining time from Dritz here. And that's indeed good. Killing some probes. Oh, and all those probes getting transferred back. Might get picked off as well. Is there over... Oh, we got the new patch! Overcharge is now at 50 energy. Okay, I see that. Hmm. So, what do we see here for battle? So far, no tech. Just the hatchery morphing into a lair on the way. And it looks like, with that probe, Dritz wants to go for a new base, for a third one. And to be honest, he is ahead and working quite heavily. Okay, this base is so heavily oversaturated, you should transfer some back to the... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, cannon with the sentries, that's nice. Very defensive setup. And a Twilight Council, so those circlings won't do much here. Unless there is one opening... No, you can't go in there. You can't go in there! No way. Uh, with Anidas, maybe you could pick up this Nexus. Mm. But I wonder what Battle is doing. He's droning up heavily now, which is still fine, but... 
He needs another queen for creep spread, he needs to start creep spread, he needs to start spreading overlords and he needs to go for some tech. Hydralisk stand is nice but if you don't have anything to buffer, I don't know if Hydralisk circling is viable in Legacy of the Void. It hardly was in HOTS. It was awesome to play in Brood War <laughs> like 15 years ago. <clears throat> but is it viable against Protoss? in Legacy of the Void. I don't know. I mean Hydralis are awesome against Void Race. They are quite good against sentries, uh, against Salads and they are awesome against sentries, but what do we see here? Why is someone pinning pinging there? Please don't do that. So double Phoenix